So in this short little episode, we're going to be fixing one small issue with our character commands executing through the command manager. Everything is working just fine, except for if we try to execute a particular command, say a sprite command on a sprite character. Let's say that we create one called monk, and monk is created as generic, which means that he would use this sprite sheet with all these different images all these different characters and we could then set a sprite to monk or whatever we wanted if we look at the character configuration asset then we see that the generic character is indeed a sprite sheet character which means we should be able to call set sprite on it so what we do to make this happen is we first create the character monk as generic which means it will create monk on the screen using all the details of generic, which means the sprite character and that sprite sheet with all those different characters in it. At which point then, with monk being a sprite character, we can then call set sprite and set monk as the active sprite. Except that's not what happens. Instead, what we wind up with is an issue where our character just comes in with the default sprite, and if we look at the console, it says command set sprite does not exist in the database. Command manager was unable to execute command set sprite on character monk. The character name or command may be invalid. And this is happening because of the way that we are executing the character command. Well, more specifically, how we get the character configuration information. So when we execute a com character command inside of our command manager, we then come down and get the configuration data for the character of that name, at which point we see whether it's a sprite, live 2D, or model character, and then execute the command correctly from their particular database. Problem is, we are executing it based off of the name of the character and not what they've been cast as. So if we look at get character configuration, then we are returning config get config character name. And if we look at that, that is going through our configuration asset and it's looking through each of the character names and then returning the types. And this is happening because even though we create monk as a sprite character by creating monk as generic, generic is the sprite sheet, so therefore monk is the sprite character. But when we go to look for the configuration type in this way, we are looking through this list and since we don't see monk, we assume, hey, it's just a regular generic text character, uh, not a sprite character, not anything that matches here, so therefore the sprite commands will not work on it. So first we need to check if the character actually exists, and if that character does exist, then we load its particular configuration rather than try to find it through this configuration asset. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and look through the asset as we've been doing. Now this is not going to affect any other scripts. This is only affecting our command manager because this is the way that we are calling it. So in our character manager, in instance, get character config, let's go ahead and jump inside of there and just change this real quick. So when we try to get the configuration of a character, we're just going ahead and looking in the configuration asset. Now, if we go ahead and create a character, that character gets a clone of its original configuration. And we can therefore change whatever we want on that configuration in real time without affecting the original. So if the character exists, then let's grab the config straight off of that character and if the character does not exist, then let's go to the original and look for it in the asset. So let's try to get the character before we do anything else. Let's say character, character equals get character. And we're going to get the character by the character name. Okay, now if character is not equal to null, then we're going to return character dot config. So if we already have a character in the scene, we'll grab the configuration off of that character. If not, we'll grab the configuration from the asset, which is universal. And so now when we create character monk as generic, monk is created as a sprite character. Monk is still unknown uh, as far as the configuration asset goes, but when we go to try to find it, we're going to find the character based off of its name and then get the configuration applied to that character, which will be, of course, a sprite sheet character configuration. So let's go ahead and play this and see what happens now. Now we can see that, yes, Monk has the actual commands that are available for Stella because he is represented as a sprite character. So now we can set his sprite and all looks good.
And that means that that is good, but there's just one other small change that we need to make, and that is in our character class, when we go to reset the configuration data to its original, we are using that character manager .get character config, which was originally reaching just into the character configuration asset. But now if we try to run this, then it's just going to grab the config that's already assigned to this character because it's based off the name. When instead what we can do is come to that function and specify a new value. We'll make a boolean called, we'll do get original and just set that to false by default. But for our characters, we're going to make sure that when we res reset, that we always get the original by setting that value to true. And so when we get the character config data, let's just quickly check if get original, or better yet, if not get original, then we'll go ahead and run and try to get the config that may be in a character that already exists in the scene. Otherwise, if we don't find the character or we are enforcing the original, then we're going to grab it straight from the configuration asset. And so that means as a demonstration in test characters, if I were to create a monk and then just speak some normal dialogue and then set the name and dialogue color to blue for the name and red for the dialogue, have him say some more text, I should be able to reset the configuration and get back to the normal config because it is enforcing me to get the original data defined in the configuration asset rather than reach out to the character in the scene. And as long as I make sure that script is active, then we'll go ahead and get normal dialogue then we get the customized dialog, and now we should reset, and indeed we do reset to the generic original data.